Hello uh, everyone to another video on Avirishi. Today we will be discussing about a paper uh, just released this week. Uh, really interesting. It's on a name, funny name, AstroSet because uh, we already have a space mission in India called AstroSet. But this is different. This is uh, about uh, a really interesting uh, area that they are targeting is which is about forecasting satellite transits and uh, making uh, uh, like accounting for that and making uh, optical astronomical observations better. So uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, there are going to be a lot of uh, a significant increase in number of satellites in LEO, uh, low Earth orbit, um, maybe in next like century there might be like maybe in the order of million satellites in the uh, low Earth orbit. So which makes detection, ground based de detection quite hard and uh, that's why you need uh, things like uh, forecasting of the transit so that you just avoid that window uh, when uh, there is a transit of the um, opaque object and you it doesn't affect your data so yeah so this um, it will be employing a RADEC coordinate system the code and I'll be jumping into the code into a bit so um, uh, before that we'll just quickly go over uh, what this uh, uh, the like previous attempts that people have done so um, there is simple general perturbation orbital propagator so uh, this is um, this is how this uh, the kind of uh, the space object orbits are generated and this are this is maintained by a website called celestrack so you can see here uh, you can see the entire orbit visualization if you want to see it so just bear with me for a second So uh, if you just see here, uh, the here is the earth, uh, do we see any orbit of LEOs, uh, no, this is a boomer moment, <laughs> I do not see any, uh, I do not see any observe uh, this LEOs seen, but yeah, what is 2.5D, ah 2.5D, nice, uh, okay. What else is there? I guess this isn't fully active or we don't have that many satellites right now for the cluster to be seen but kind of uh, they have made an artistic visualization that the cluster would look like this. So yeah this is Celestrack and <laughs> so uh, what they, uh, this uh, code tries to do is it tries to model uh, all the kinds of tra satellite transits so satellites can be of various sizes and um, intensity like viewed at uh, various intensities so um, not all the transits will be impacting the astronomical observation so there is an equation that they are using uh, which shows the apparent brightness so uh, it's a fine tuned equation if you see m is equal to minus 26.4 uh, minus 2.5 log um, a gamma f phi by z square plus x phi so uh, this is a lot of parameters so a is cross section uh, gamma is albedo phi is solar phase angle f is function that uh, defines the uh, fraction reflected so all these things are there uh, there is also a diffuse uh, spherical model for the satellite that they are model and it, uh, the equation looks like this all these things are accounted for in this code if you go here uh, the code is open source on github and uh, it's a python it's written in python and uh, i won't be going into the code but if you are interested you can go so uh, there is various codes that exist here using astropy so astropy makes it very easy to visualize the all sky and also uh, uh, there is various other libraries numpy tqdm just to handle all this uh, data and data structures so yeah this is the code we won't go into the detail but these are the equations we also won't go into the detail of these equations but we want to just see what this paper tries to address which is uh, this uh, accounting for this um, transits and maybe most probably just uh, making a code that helps optical uh, ground based uh, telescopes aware about these transits in the future currently I don't think so. it's a big problem but the starting project might make it a problem and we might need to have such kind of uh, 
pipelines or codes just to make sure that everything is uh, accounted for and there is no uh, loss in the data quality okay this will be a quick uh, walk through over the paper i'm not going into the detail i don't want to go into how starlink uh, starlink satellites are what is the angular um, resolution uh, angular width or, or you can say that how big they are how bright they are um, or the uh, whatever things that needs to be modeled so i'm not going into the details there is a plot this plot uh, shows uh, there are three plots here uh, it shows the satellite visibility map um, in v band so um, it's it's uh, towards the darker side eyes won't be able to see and the patch of the sky i think so chosen is 25 degrees north and this is the kind of you can see the visibility map uh, which potentially may arise and this code will try to address so yeah um, nothing much more to cover in this paper uh, i hope to see more developments on this pipeline in the future and i'll be just following astrosat uh, and uh, the person who is maintaining it uh, james osborne from uh, durham university uh, uk uh, about what all things uh, get done in this uh, idea or this area of research